marketing machine for the upcoming Michael Fassbender film Assassin's Creed is starting to get into gear, scheduled to open in theaters exactly one year from today. The studio has put out this first official banner for the film, as well as launched the Abstergo website. The official social accounts also revealed an image of Abstergo CEO Alan Rickon's business card featuring a number that fans can call. When you call the number, there is a message that states, hello, you've reached the voicemail of Alan Rickon. I'll be out of the office on business until March 25th with limited availability. Christian, what do you think of this kickoff and what significance, if any, does the March 25th date have? Bring it. I'm excited. I think this could be, I mean, we'll see what Warcraft does, but I also think this could be one of the the next, hopefully Warcraft's the first, and then this is the movie that continues the video games becoming the new genre. And I am super excited for Assassin's Creed, and I, I think what the significance is, that's the date you get in the trailer. I think you'll get the full-fledged trailer on, on the day. I think it's a really smart marketing tool. It plays into what the game does. It'll play into what the film does. Um, and then you get this this the team that just did Mac, Macbeth together. I think we're looking at something that could wind up being pretty special, especially if they believe in the this much already, and they're going to start to do this big marketing push for it. We're in good shape. Schnepp? Yeah, I mean, especially with the video game franchise. Jonathan is a, a big fan of the game. He was explaining a little more to me about the time travel elements yeah. and how they, you're basically collecting different things through time and how eventually when they finally get to right now, then they could just launch into the future. So obviously it's a, it's a, a movie series that can have multiple, like easily six uh, sequels if they wanted. Um, so, but we're looking at this one right now, and this one to me actually uh, appeals to me a little bit more than Warcraft, to mm -hmm. be honest with you. Even though I'm really looking forward to Warcraft, I'd love to see how they're actually going to take this, uh, how they're going to do this kind of time travel. It, it seems like they're going to go into this with the with taking place in in the now and then going into the past. So I'm looking forward to it. Now, I think this is really clever marketing campaign, I mean, and, and also a first trailer in March, and that's what we are all assuming. Mm -hmm. When he says, I'll be out of the office until yeah, March right. 25th. Okay, that's a pretty big sign that, unless they're going to move the release date up, which I do not believe that at all. Uh, wouldn't that be a kick in the pants, though? Right. If all of a sudden they just announced, <laughs> by the way, we're moving it up nine months. Right. That'd be crazy. We're going to release it in March. Not too crazy. Mission Impossible moved it up. Mission what, Impossible five? moved it up right. quite a bit, too, trying to get away from Star Wars. Smart move. Very smart move, <laughs> yeah. as it turns out. Um, um, so, yeah, I think this is a great move. I like this this uh, little, uh, what would you call it, uh, viral campaign yeah. you're doing. Mm -hmm. I wonder, I'd love to see numbers as far as how many people have called this phone number already, because I did. I called did it. You? Yeah. Is it it's, awesome? It is. It's yeah. actually pretty cool. So, uh, big thumbs up for me. I like it. Is it fast better on the other? Uh, uh, no. No, okay. Not fast better. At least as far as I can tell, it's not fast oh, yeah. better. Maybe it is, but it didn't yeah. sound like him at all. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.